creepy. <laughs> One, get away to the underground bunker, please. Welcome, Dr. Eggman. Attention, I want all robots after Sonic immediately. If he comes, do not let him leave. <laughs> oh, one more ticket to Yahoo Victory! Yeah! This will be a good way to spend the time. Take that. Get back here, little runt. Looks like I got me a team. I mean, a battle. for just five seconds. <sighs> uh, knuckles, we are stuck at the bottom of this deep ditch. Double D. And I'm surprised that you're sitting up there all calm and cool and stuff. It's not helping anything, you know. And panicking like a freakish little girl is. You're right, Knuckles. I've totally lost it. But who knows how much time we have until the whole world just, well, I guess all of Hawaii, you should say, just explodes into bits. And we won't even be there to stop it. Relax, I bet Sonic has got this whole thing under control. self-driving motorcycle? Hmm, you know, maybe it won't be self-driving for that long. Ah! 
Sorry, sir, but uh, have you seen a, a yellow fox uh, and a big red echidna around here? No, dude, we're all the way in Hawaii. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Um, what's your name? I, I'm Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. S superhero. Superhero? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I think it might be important to inform a superhero about this, but here in Hawaii, I have located a nearby bomb. What? Yeah, it's a newer, it's a nearby gigantic nuclear bomb. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you're a superhero, that's pro that is probably having to do with something while you're here. We need to evacuate everybody, 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 evacuate the premises now. Bomb, I know what you've done, Eggman. I see you up there. Dun, 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 there's just a way I could get rid of this, but there's no way. Ah. Wait a second. Do you hear that? Yeah. Wait a second. This is the door. Ah. I gotta be really careful though with those. Up. Found ya. <laughs> now I just gotta wait for him to come right back. Sonic, you did it! You got us! Oh. Uh. Oh. Guys, what? There's a bomb right there. Explode in 40 seconds. Oh no, what are we gonna do? There's a soldier man evacuated in the entire town right now, but we need to get out of here now. You're right, Sonic. Come on, guys. Everybody evacuate! Everybody! Get out of here now! Caution. 
self-destruct now, caution. Self-destruct now, caution. Self-destruct now, caution. Beep! Guys, go swim away from here. What about you, Sonic? I'll be fine, Tails. Just go. Sonic! No, you can't do it, Sonic! You're gonna explode and die! Come on, Tails, swim like he said. Trust him, he's gonna be okay. <laughs> Come on! Go! Oh, everybody evacuate! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go! Beep! Oh, oh. <laughs> No, going back. It's too late. He risked his life for me, and it cost him his life. Sonic will be remembered for ever. Sonic is alive. Huh? Sonic? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Sonic! Ah! Oh no, oh no. Sonic, you're okay. But, but how? Sonic, you're alright. Ah! He's okay. Ah! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! Sonic, how are you okay? The force of the explosion sent me flying. It didn't explode me. Probably exploded Eggman though. You know, Eggman had a protective force field or whatever. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Now, are you two ready for the standing still contest? It's as long as it's 
Not as hard as the staring contest was. Memories. Yeah, but you know how to do this one, right, Knuckles? No. All right, then, then. Let's begin. All right, Sonic, you ready? More than ready. Ready, Knuckles? No. Let me get in a position. <sighs> Hold on a second. So what position are you going to get in? Ouch. I'm just going to stand like this. R really? Yeah, it'll be easier. Alright then. <laughs> I wonder what to do. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like you two got your position. Are you ready to begin this contest? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Alright, whenever I get to one, you see who can stand still the longest. And three, two, one. <laughs> this will be a classic. <laughs> Stop it, Tails. Okay, 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 that's enough. You're gonna cheat. Oh. Why am I always do that? I'm gonna go use the restroom. Now, oh, hey there, beautiful. What you doing here? What the? What was that noise? Maybe one of them moved. Hey, so nobody moved? Nah. Did you guys hear that sound? No. Hmm. Uh. Paranoid freak. Now, about that toy. <gasps> You look around in this area. I'll go downstairs. You got it, Sonic. Tails. You in there? Ew, what is that? It's no use, Knuckles. I can't find Tails anywhere. Me too. I've looked everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Hmm. You know. <laughs> what are you doing in the toilet? <laughs> Not again. Got you out, Knuckles. Thanks, Sonic. Say, do you know what this weird blue stuff is that I found in the toilet? Oh, jeez. But anyway, back to that idea I was talking about. Right after Tails went missing, it gave me the perfect idea. <sighs> yeah, if it's coming from me, it probably won't be that perfect. I mean... Okay, let's hear it. What is it, Knuckles? Well, you see, this is just like, like, like that one part of my favorite movie. Yeah, you know that movie? No. Oh, darn, I thought, I thought you would know about it. But anyway, yeah, it's from my favorite movie, um... It's the one where the two guys team up, and then they become, like, those spy guys who have, who solve all the mystery cases. This time, we have to solve the mystery case of the tails. 
And why would we do that? To make it fun. There's nothing fun about this. Our friend has gone missing. How is that fun? How is that remotely fun? Well, I didn't necessarily say that it was fun, but I'm just trying to say that I want to find a way to make it fun. So, like, it won't be all sad and stuff. So, what do you think? Is that sort of a good idea? Yeah, Knuckles. Mm. No way. Great then. <gasps> Let's go solve this mystery case. But, Knuckles, I said, but you have to follow one rule. You have to call me the Spy Case Cracker Knuckles. Ah, brother. All right. As part of the secret spy group, our first thing to do is gonna have to pick up all the evidence we have. First of all, we have no evidence other than tail screened. Second of all, this isn't a secret company. What makes you say that? Uh, the giant sign right above us. Well, I had to let people know what we were doing. Now, now we're not just innocent bystanders like them. For just one of those civilians, you know. We are hero masterminds. So, yeah. Hey, I saw your sign. Can you help me with something secret spy company thing related? Depends. What is it? Oh, you see, I can't find my dear old dog, Paolo. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. I know. I can't find him anywhere. And I need super secret awesome spy agents like you to help find him. Eggman, there's no way we're doing this. It's pretty obvious what you have schemed here. What are you talking about? Well, you know. I'm just going to ignore the fact that that happened. But, you know, you want us to go over there and try to find your, your dog. Puffles. Then you're gonna pull some kind of scheme on us. Well, Sonic, you know, whenever it comes to my dog puddle, nothing is more important in the whole world to me. I would never joke about such a devastating matter. By the way, you're working with Knuckles, and he's gonna do it whether you like it or not, you know. <laughs> Sadly, he's right. So, Will you guys please help me? Of course we will. Like you said, nothing in the world is more important to you than that dog. And on that note, let's go! Um, my lair is this way. Let's go! Where do you want us to start looking, Eggman? Well, you can start by looking here. Beep! <laughs> I got you. Yeah, you're free to go. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Eggman, yeah. why did you do that? Do what? You trapped us and then you just let us go. Why would you do that? No. Oh, I know. Well, you see, I've been trying to get you guys for so long now, I forgot why I was even trying to get you. Oh, uh, I thought it was because you hated that hedgehog and you wanted to destroy him. Oh yeah, get back in there! Yeah. Bye, Eggman. <laughs> ah, we're both. Sonic, what's wrong? Oh. <sighs> Why are you pe people 
here. Well, you see, we saw your big sign up there. Yeah, and then we saw how you helped that overweight man. <sighs> and now we're here because we could use some help to... Business is... Booming. No way! Knuckles always set up this stupid thing. In which I wasn't any part of even wanting to do because we're trying to go on this little mystery spy thing to find our best friend. Yeah. But I still would like to think of this as a company. Hey, welcome to Sonic. Knuckles? What, Sonic? We only did this stupid thing so we could find Tails. Yeah, but... Oh, come on. You know, Nicola, sometimes I can really hate you. Hey, welcome to Sonic and Knuckles Secret Spy Company. What would you like, sir? Well, I would like um, some unclogging done on my toilet. Hmm, unclogging. Hmm. Better cost about ten bucks. Thanks. Just turn in the money to your next stop. Uh, what is this one? I'd like some unclogging done on my toilet here. The red one said about this should do it. Save me. Good money for this. I touched it. Get in there! Ah. Help me write my new book? I don't know, that sounds a little complicated, said he. How about. I uh, know, sounds a little complicated, he said. Brilliant. I never would have thought of that. Find me the cheapest deal for a 55 Chevrolet Nomad nowadays? Thank you. <clears throat> Help me plot my revenge. Thank you. I'm not very comfortable that I helped you with this. Oh, well, you see, this man, um, uh, is a murderer, a robber, and, yeah, and a lot of other stuff. I thought you meant, like, practice kind of a thing. What do you mean by practice? Like, you know, test on a mannequin or something? I've seen that one before. Oh, well, no. Please don't do it. Help me find my dog, Puddle. sick of this. We need to find Tails. Now. We can't keep doing this for everybody else or else we're never going to get to the main reason why we even started this thing, which by the way, I didn't even want to do. Okay, okay, you're right. First, we need to go and investigate the scene of the crime. It was at this very spot where the fox boy went missing. Right. First of all, we need to list everything that's in the bathroom. So we have a toilet, have a sink, a bathtub, and what else? There's a, there's a little wooden desk in here. Alright, write that stuff down. Psh. Written down. Nice. Now, the next thing we need to do is think of the most reasonable causes for him to just disappear like this if he was in the bathroom. Well, let's see. If we have this stuff to work with, let's think about what could have happened. Ah, uh, 
a nice toilet. Whenever he hit that wooden desk, that's how we heard the scream as he went through the chimney. Well, the only notable issue with that is that if you were to go up the chimney is if you were to go downstairs in the living room and climb up it. He was up here in the bathroom. Yeah, but he could break through the chimney. Yeah, not go that much. No, that's not what happened. But I think I might have an idea. What? Maybe it has a certain Dr. Eggman involved. <laughs> we know you did it, Eggman. Did what? We know that you kidnapped Tails. <laughs> and we also know that you kidnapped Tails. <laughs> And we're not going to leave until you tell us where you have him. I have no idea what happened to your stupid little fox friend. Yeah, right. I thought I had told you long before I realized why I kept wanting to trap you. Before that, um, I would have just let him go, right? Right? Because I don't know what to do with him. So, I wouldn't have a use for that little Tails anyway. Besides, why would I want the tiniest one out of all of you? Well, maybe to break down our confidence. So that way, whenever you have him, you can come up with a more evil plan. Well, that's not a bad idea, but no. I don't have him. Yeah, and... Then we're gonna be believing that anytime soon. I hope you don't mind if we take a quick search of the place. Go on. All right. Let me guess. Found nothing. Uh huh. What I tell you? A play waste of your time. What if we never find Tails? Sonic, we're gonna find Tails. After all, we are the super secret agent of Sonic and Knuckles company or whatever, right? You know what, Knuckles? You know what? Let's go. Yeah. And Knuckles, I don't think we're gonna get any luck out here. Well, Knuckles, I can't find him down here. Any luck up there? Nope. Heart, Sonic, just gotta do as I do. him up here on what appears to be a food paradise and even with this giant view no sign of the fox ooh, 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 what do we got up here I'm taking one of those for the road hey knuckles I'm not playing around already <laughs> what's Yeah, it's a shame. Tail! 
Tails, tails, no! Tails, 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 ah. Oh. Tails, what are you doing? Where have you been? Well, I was doing the standing still competition since you two left. Yeah, but where have you been all this time? Well, funny story. Well, you see, let's see here. It all started out whenever I met this awesome wizard man. Hey there, what's your name? Um, I'm Tails. <laughs> but in actuality, he just wanted to show me some cool and beautiful sights. Wow, never seen anything quite like it. I know, incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So can you bring me back home? My friends are going to get worried since I screamed. Oh, sure. But he accidentally didn't teleport me anywhere near home. So I had no other choice but to walk my way back. It took about five hours, and I realized that you guys had gone off searching for me. So... I tried the standing still competition to see if I could do it until you guys got back, and then I could tell you about a possible, um, record break. So yeah, it was a pretty weird experience, but I am glad that I'm home and that that weird wizard man didn't do anything to me. Yeah, I'm glad that you're okay, Tails. I was... Hey, where'd Knuckles go? Oh my goodness. I decided that I was gonna get that giant bowl of SpaghettiOs. Ugh. Wanna bite, Sonic? Um... What? I thought I was just in this room. Oh yeah, every single room has the same exact floor design. I'm coming, I'm coming. What, what, what? Um, uh, good day, sir. Who are you? Everybody always asks me that question. <sighs> Doesn't anybody know a Grim Reaper when they see one? <laughs> Nobody knows me. The Grim Reaper? Hmm. That's an odd name. Seriously, do you actually have no idea who I am? Do you even know what the Grim Reaper is? Um, you? Well, yeah. Okay, enough with the talk. I'd like to make my work quick here. Um, do you know Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, yeah, I know. He lives with me, actually. He's in here right now. Really? Yeah. Could you go get him for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, why not? Hey, uh, Sonic. Somebody's at the door. He says he's a Mr. Grim Reaper. <laughs> okay, I've got to see this. This is going to be funny. <laughs> Oh, man. Buddy, Halloween is over. It's been over for a long time now, so... What do you want? I've come here to kill you. Wow. Wow. Mm, why? Why? What do you think? I'm the Grim Reaper for crying out loud. But I mean, like, of all the people, why do you want me? Well... I don't know. I just do what Master says. He gives, uh, I get the person that needs to go, and then I get them. And one touch from my staff here, and my work will be done. So please just come over here. Yeah, no. 
Besides, I'm having a hard time believing you that you're the actual Grim Reaper, so see you later. Oh no, you don't get back here right now. I am the Grim Reaper. And if you don't believe me, you can just try and Hey! So, you're probably gonna wanna come back here. So you wanna feel the wrath. <laughs> okay, I'm not about to put up with this. Ah! Yeah, Tails. He said that he... Ah! Oh my goodness! Ah! Get back here now! <laughs> oh gosh, darn it! A dead end! Well, you're right, Tails. Doesn't look so pretty from here on out. You know where to run now, Sonic. Now where were we? Oh yes. Try not to move too much. I don't want to make a mess of this. <laughs> I've always loved doing this. <gasps> What the heck is wrong with you? Get off of me before I kill you! Sonic, give me your sword. It'll be easier. Knuckles, I do not have a sword. Sure you do. Ha ha. Thanks, Sonic. I I have no idea how that got there. I wouldn't have worked on a guy who comes with a magical staff that, from one touch, would instantly kill you. Yeah, I'd be kind of frightened too if I saw something like that. But don't worry, Sonic, I saved you from that guy. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Well, thank you, Knuckles. Yeah? After seeing you do something like that, could you maybe get away from me? Yeah, sure, Sonic. I understand. Me too. I swear, that giant rip in the hall wall follows me everywhere. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. I should probably get him out of there. Mother of mercy, it's that same hole. Don't worry, guys. I'm just getting rid of the body. Don't worry, guys. I'm just getting rid of the body. Uh. Hey, I didn't know if the Grim Reaper wore a trench coat. And now that's something you don't see every day. I'm gonna try it on. I mean, I'll put it right back on. It won't take that long. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. If it's perfectly. Man, I've never had anything more cozy in my life. Mom, I had my phone. I should probably put it back on him now. Uh. Uh. Hey, where does the little staff thingy go? Doing well. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. Oh. Hey, why do I have it? I didn't pick it up. Wait a sec. <gasps> He's gone. Sonic! Tails! Guys, guys, guys! Oh, come on, Knuckles, please. You gotta listen, though. What is it? Look, so I was t taking the Grim Reaper out. Ugh. And I decided to try on his trench coat because it looks so cool. Then I realized that his staff appeared in my hand. And then he 
he disappeared. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, let's get him in one thing. Are you okay, Tails? I'm fine, but that's but that's not the good part. I don't think that you're okay. Really? Why do you why do you think that I'm not okay? studied everything in my career. I've studied everything. Even fairy tale magic, stuff like this. Hmm. Cool. Have you studied how to make a hamburger? Everyone knows how to make a hamburger. Oh. oh. Well, look. So, I found out in studying that apparently and if you ever stumble upon a Grim Reaper and you actually ever put on their clothing, you'll become the Grim Reaper. What? That's insane. Besides, that's just some fairy tale ludicrous that you found out. Yeah, it tells me that they do post a bunch of fake websites online. Exactly. No, but this is serious. I study serious things, Knuckles. Besides, do you think that that Grim Reaper was fake? Well, I mean, he did just disappear like that. Yeah, Knuckles, I don't know if it's suitable for you to stay here anymore. What? Why? Because if you're the Grim Reaper, you might accidentally, you know, to us. But, but guys, this is my home. Really? Really? I mean, like, this is all really our home? We don't just stay here like bros and nobody else has a house? I eh, guess not. <sighs> Fine. Fine, but Tails, once you find out that I'm not the Grim Reaper, then you'll be come crying back to me for help. Help with what? Oh, shut up. I'll just hang right here. Being a Grim Reaper isn't so bad. <sighs> no, come on. This thing is so heavy I can't even stand up. You have been chosen. <gasps> Who is that? Me. Huh? Who are you? Some random person that you've never seen before. Hmm. Also, I am the mentor of the Grim Reaper. What does that mean? It means that every time a new Grim Reaper is available for the job, I must explain to him what to do and what not to do. Okay, stop getting all up in my face like that. Do you want to know what to do and what not to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you better listen up. Okay, what do I do? Okay, first of all, oh my gosh, what the heck is wrong with you? If you are a Grim Reaper, you must not feel anything. You mean, I can't get hurt? Not if you're a Grim Reaper, no. So, what exactly are you trying to get to tell me here? I am trying to give you the basics. Okay, so look, when being a Grim Reaper, you must always, 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 kill somebody. Wow, that sounds really mean. Why would I want to do that? Because that's his job. It is the Grim Reaper's job to put an end to the person who is living currently. When it is their time, it is you who must take them out. And how do you know this? Because I'm smart. I'm a nice person. I'm a really smart guy. Hmm. Okay. So, anything else that you want to tell me that's crazy and stupid? Yes. 
If you kill somebody who you're not supposed to, then you'll be banished from the job forever. Oh. Interesting. Yes, it is very interesting. Why'd you do that? It's a problem that I have. I'm a weird person. Oh. Now, do you think you can do the job? I guess so. Alright then. Uh, I'll be the best Grim Reaper ever. Although I don't really like this job at all. Who's the first person that I need to... The first person that you need to cut is named... Who is that? Uh... Some... Another random person. Oh. But you can't see me. Alright, alright. Invisible man? Yes. Another person that you must kill first is none other than... Uh... Um... Uh... Wait, are you thinking about this? No, 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 no. I, I already have the answer. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh. Come on. Tick, 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 tick. This is sad. The first person that you must kill... Is it none other than Mr. David Hawk? David Hawk? Yeah. Uh, you. Sorry. Go kill him. Where is he? I don't know. You have to find him. Oh. Okay. I win again. Uh, uh, sir, sir, where do I find Mr. David Hawk? Uh, I don't know who you are talking about. <laughs> I know who David Hawk is. Get down. <clears throat> you do? <gasps> sir, you said you knew who David Hawk was? Eh. <clears throat> I'll wait for you. I know who David Hawk is, yeah. I'm his brother, Storm Hawk. Well, that's a cool name. Yeah, I'm probably not the first person to have it. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. But if you want to find David Hawk, um, I would assume, I would tell you to look, um, uh, 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 you don't know where he is, do you? No. Then what'd you say you did? Well, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll just give you his address. A piece of paper. <laughs> Here, just take this piece of paper. There's nothing in your hand. Ah! Okay, I'll just tell you his address. His address is 3842 and Dr. Drive. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, aren't you that guy that, um, gave me those instructions on the, on the staring contest thing? Maybe. Ha 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 David Hawk? I am indeed. What do you want? I'm sorry, sir, but there's no there's no easy way to tell you this. Please follow me. Alright. This looks like a good spot. Please sit down with me. I have some sad news that I have to break to you. But you see, I'm the Grim Reaper. You may realize by this awesome trench coat that I'm wearing. And unfortunately, David, it's your time. 
Yes! I mean, um, oh, that's horrible. I know. Don't worry. I'll make this quick. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. 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 There's no easy way to do that. Tell me about it. Huh? Who are you? Just think of me as the guy who used to be the Grim Reaper. Really? You used to be the Grim Reaper? Yep. It was quite a tra tragic experience. How did you get freed? I thought that they had to die to have to not be them anymore. Well, son, sit down and let me tell you. Back in the Stone Age, there used to be a way to get freed from the unbearable curse. Unfortunately, while there really isn't any more, there's still a way that remained all the way from back in that time. Really? How? Legend has it that if the Grim Reaper went and slayed a special dragon, they would they would be freed from the, the curse. There's still one dragon who's lived after all these billions of years. Really? Yes. Where can I find him? His name is Gargantuan. You can find him in a secret, special, dark, 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 dark cave. You can barely see what's going on, which makes it really hard to know if you're going to run right into him or not. If you can slay him, you'll be freed from the curse. And that's what you did? Correct. Let me tell you this right here, it wasn't easy at all. Now, if you'll excuse me... I'd like to have a super awesome motorcycle ride right out of here. Stay <clears throat> back, goodbye. back, goodbye. back, goodbye. Cool. I wish he was a little more specific on where the specific cave is. Specific. Oh, come on. How am I ever going to ever find a cave that might have a deep, dark dragon on the inside of it? Why are you pointing like that? I'm never going to be able to find a cave. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. this thing get here? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, dropped it. Huh? Finally, a cave. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Hmm. I go. Hello. Cool. Now, is there a hidden dragon in here? <laughs> Sounds like it. How do you think Knuckles has been doing on his own? That's exactly what I've made this new invention for. Before he left, I snuck a little tracking device in his shoe, so now he could see where he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? What? What's wrong? He's in cave. What? It's a super secret hidden dark cave, and it has the last live dragon in it. What? Why would he be there? Probably to free himself from this curse. Huh? Uh, my nurse? Hey, wait up. Ooh. Come on, Sonic, we don't have any time to waste. the place. Oh. Oh my 
gosh, I can't see anything in here at all. Yeah, me either. But thankfully, I brought a gigantic flashlight. Gigantic? Why do we need one so big? So we can see more, genius. You can never not be prepared here. I'm just gonna turn it on now. I hear somebody crying. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Thank thankfully you got this giant flashlight. Yeah. How are we gonna carry it around to see the rest of the cave? I'm gonna look over here for knuckles. We won't need to carry it around because Yeah, I could use a little help here. Ah, got it. Huh. Oh, hey, I can see my shadow. <laughs> hey, Sonic, could you find Knuckles? No, nah, but I can't see anything either, so... Huh, no wonder I kept feeling something in the back. I fell down. Oh, hey. Tails, look at my shadow. Yours looks so much better than mine. Yeah, I'm just naturally awesome. Okay, now we're good from around. We really need to find Knuckles. Yeah, we don't want to make that dragon thing, right? Guys! Guys! Oh my gosh, I hear him! Come on, son! Ah, I knew I made it too big. Ah. Ah. Ouch. Knuckles, can you hear us? Yeah. Sonic, listen to that. Sounds like some roaring rivers. That doesn't sound like that. Yeah, I wonder what that is. <gasps> what? What? This is my arm. Guys, watch out, here comes the dragon. Yeah. 
one touch from it, and you're dead. Knuckles? Yeah. Can we get out of here now? Yeah. I should be strong enough for this. Come on, guys. Freedom is this way. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. Guess this is an alternate exit. I wonder where it leads to. Your trench coat is gone. You're right. I wonder where it went. Who cares where it went, guys? Because now we are back to normal and Knuckles is no longer a Grim Reaper. Awesome, Knox. I love the way you took on that dragon. Phew, <laughs> what a nice looking trench coat. Who would just leave this here? Me. <laughs> it's just that I'm a little sad that my amazing layer, you know, the totally awesome one, the place that had a special reserve room just for you to build pretty much anything you want, or oh, just the builders are real good for that answer. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and Remember how much profit I made off of all that technology in my new drones? Oh yeah. I literally have waterfalls of money in my backyard. Yeah, yeah, who could forget that one editor, sir? And now look what's been reduced to just a big open disaster wasteland. And it's all because of our favorite little furry friend. It's all his fault. I don't know, sir. Don't you just think that you're starting to blame everything on Sonic since you just hate him so much? I mean, you are kind of been, like, sworn enemies for, like, 30 years now. You know, it's been, like, what is this, the 30th anniversary of Sonic? This was recently. He was the cause of it. He most definitely was. If he hadn't spin dashed that robot into the dynamite, then none of this would be happening right now. None of this. None of this at all. You just think that old eggplant is going crazy. Easy, don't you? Maybe I ought to reprogram you so you'll be useful for once. That'd be a good change. Huh? What do you think of that? Hmm. I don't think so. Well, well maybe, sir. Um, what if maybe you could, um... Oh, can it? We've done every evil plan in the book. There's not more left. Evil, 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 evil. I'm sick of evil. That's it. I'm quitting the evil. I'm done with the evil. I'm done with this job. I'm done with all of this ludicrous. Wait, sir, there's 
also might be some hope. Oh, yes, and you. It's always the ones who try to support their masters that are the most annoying. Well, now that I'm at the control computer, I'm just gonna shut you down. Hey, if you're supposed to be such a big helpful robot, why, why couldn't you have a way to stop the explosion, huh? Why don't you have some kind of magical powers to do that? Well, sir, arguably, you did program me to be the way that I am, and that wasn't part of my program. Beep! Fine. Now, just go on a nice retirement or something. There's something useful with my life. Oh, that stinky old lair. Sick of that place. Seeing it every single day. Only being reminded of my multiple and multiple failures. Now, it's time to live a normal life. So if I'm going to be a normal person in society, I'm going to need to act like one. Step one, I must observe. <laughs> and it appears that this fine gentleman is standing against the wall. How average. Why, hello there. Huh? Who are you? Oh, just your average, everyday person. So, what you doing here? Wait for a bus? Um, uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything else. Well, you see, I'm waiting for my date. Ooh, interesting. Yes, she's arriving in a limo. A limo? Very fancy, very classy. Yes, yes, indeed. Her name is Sierra. Sierra? Yeah. <laughs> Not the average name. Ah. You know a lot about being average, you know? Oh no, don't ever say it like that. Yes, indeed. Oh, sorry there, Joe. My name is David. <laughs> sorry, but it just so happens I'm waiting for a date, too. <laughs> okay, whatever. Maybe I'll just go wait on the other side of the road. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very well. <laughs> Safe travels. Oh, yeah, thank you. I can't wait to see you next time. <sighs> hey, hey, you, have you seen David? David? Oh, uh, well, I just came to say that, um, um, his girlfriend, Sierra, um, just dumped him. I wanted to come here and tell him, you know, tell the news a little faster. Okay, so, since you were standing at the very exact spot where he was supposed to be, I'm assuming you've seen this man before? Oh, uh, yes, you're a very average-looking guy. Well, actually, he's not that average. He's wearing... Um, a swim outfit, kind of like mine. Man, some people just don't know average. <clears throat> Why can't I just be like everybody else? Maybe too much time in the evil lab and being all mastermind evil genius has made me too abnormal. <clears throat> I'll just live the normal life of a regular person in society and go from there. Shopping. Everybody loves shopping. But, uh, I wish that all the carts didn't look just like this. What is this world coming to? Hello. Um, I hope you're having a good day today, sir. Now, can I please check out your items? Oh, uh, Eggman, you can do this. Just think of this as a day. And just think of this as like everyday life. Just another day, another ordinary. Sure, go ahead, sir. 
yes, I hey, um, sir. Yes, sir. So, basically, right now, you're just taking everything out of my my cart. Yeah, that's uh, that's the idea I'm supposed to be doing here. How do I? Know you're not gonna do something to it. Oh please, sir! I won't do anything to your items here. Now I'm just going to quickly scan these, and then I'll give you the price. You'll give me the money. I'll give you your stuff, and then you can go. Simplicity. Yes, yes, simplicity. You know what else is simplicity? Uh, what? It's very simple to open up that that bar, that box of tart treats or whatever it is, and go ahead and spit in it while you're at it. I know that all the bad services do that. Um, first of all, why would I do that? Second of all, why would I even want to do that? I'm only gonna lose my pay, you know. You just think that you're gonna be able to get away with it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and now you're making me put all those stuff back away just to make your job all the more pleasing. Making me leave the store. Just what all you um, em employees want is to get rid of your customers, make them think that they're that they're going to please themselves, do all the whole things they want. You make them put them back, and then you just kick them out of the store without it. Why aren't you? I blew the store thing too, but at least I was taking a stand for myself. Those employees can't get away with what they're doing. But I just wish I could be an average, nice, kind, good person in society. So, huh? that's what you want, eh? Um, well, yes. If you like this dream of yours to come true, come closer. No, this is just gonna be like a right, right out of the movies. Closer. Now, my fellow compadre, just lift open the big gray thing covering me up. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I saw you earlier too. Hey, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. I hear you want to become an average person in society, correct? Yes. What does it take? What do I have to do? First, you must take a secret oath. Okay. Sit down. Sit again. Now, let me perform my awesome spell. Okay, I'm officially freaked out. Just go to that house right over there. Off camp. Hmm. One thing's so sure, these people are very exposed to robbers. Uh, hello? Why, hello. Oh, no. 
egg me. Oh, seriously, you? Uh, yep, it's me. But you're the one who came knocking on my door, so what do you want? Oh, man. I can't believe I'm actually gonna do this. But I would kill just to be a normal person for one day. Would you teach me? Uh, I'm just not this so far. How to be normal. Mm, you know, average, good, kind, decent, good smelling. Well, um, so you want to be a normal person? Yes, that's all I want. I know it sounds weird that I'm coming to you, but please, will you help me? <clears throat> Sonic, you're an idiot. Fine. I'll help you. Yes! Thank you so much, Sonic. I promise I'll do anything. Alright, then stop talking. Just kidding. I'm gonna need to talk for these lessons anyway. Just follow me. Oh, great lessons. Can't wait to see where this is going. Okay. Lesson number one on being a good person. Now, say you're in the store, and you've got a shopping cart right in front of you. Oh, this is the shopping cart? I thought it was, like, a desk, you know. Like in... <coughs> school. Yeah, I figured. Now, try and check out this item on your cart to me, the cashier, in a decent, dignified and kind manner. Sorry, those words are too much for me to take in. Well, Eggman, you asked for my help and you're getting my help. So are you gonna do this or not? Fine. I'll give it a try, but I'm gonna regret it. Oh, you probably will, Eggman. You probably will. Eh. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Eh, what will you be purchasing? Well, I'll be purchasing this very odd-shaped looking boot. Seriously, I don't know what kind of fool would buy this. Is this actually what you're going to use for your demonstration, Sonic? Okay, let's try that again. That's not what the average person would say. Just pretend it's the kind of shoe that you like. Alright, that will be pretty hard to do since it's nothing like what I like. Alright, so let's go from the top again. Ooh, sir, what will you be purchasing today? This shoe. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just be checking that out now. Be boob. Wow, wow. Very professional, son. But seriously, this is what I don't understand. Cut, retake. Good day, sir, and what will you be purchasing? You know what? I don't even know anymore. Ah! Let's try something different. Right behind you, boss. Don't call me boss. Next, you see a friend is, is having some tr trouble with his brand new invention. So you gotta lift a finger and help him. Cause you're so lazy. Friend? Uh, <gasps> hey there, Tails. You need any help with your new invention? Eggman? Just play along, Tails. Uh... So, you wanna help me with my invention? Yeah. What is it, anyway? I right, Eggman, so far so good. Oh, I'm glad you asked. This is the teleportation Rama. Okay, don't care anymore. Just how can I help? Okay, can you hand me the supercharged battery there in the corner of the room? Oh, ah, uh, sure. Right. There are some quick, easy steps on doing this. Step one, finding out how it's physically possible to lift this. 
Say, Tails, how are you able to lift those all by yourself when you do your work? I don't. I have to use special machinery. That was pretty incredible. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Sonic! Uh, don't worry about me, so I've got protective gloves. Yeah. Eggman lesson number three. You see Knuckles over there? <coughs> New record, 500 lifts. You mean, him over there lifting up the big piece of titanium like that? Yeah, yeah, that's Knuckles. Okay, Sonic, you're not gonna talk it like that. So what do you exactly do you want me to do here? Uh, let me think here. Uh, uh, I hope you don't got all that. Um, why don't you go over there and compliment him on all the good work he's doing? Hmm, no problem. And hopefully, I'll be safe from harm over here. Ugh. Hey, Knuckles. <clears throat> oh, hey, look, there's Tails. So, what you doing? I've been lifting this very heavy piece of titanium. Oh, well, is that so? Yep. Well, do you ever work out on your legs? My legs? Yeah. <clears throat> like, look at them. Like little flimsy noodles. Excuse me, Eggman. So, is this how it's gonna go down? Huh? Just gonna come over here, start bad mouthing me? I'm just saying that maybe you need to do a little more. Um, do what? Huh? Do what? Jumping jacks, squats. Ooh, Eggman, you are gonna pay. But look at him. 